Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today we're going to do a follow up on a video that I did a couple of days ago on the topic of global illumination. This video is about Final Gather. Okay, now these two uh, um, tools, if you will, are very, very similar to each other, right? And what I did for this scene here is I just created a simple room just a box with a window and I put a sphere inside and I created some lighting, some uh, sunlight and I did that in uh, in mental ray and I'll show you in my outliner uh, okay there we go there's my sun up here okay so that's shining through the window I set up a bookmark so if I go to view bookmark new and I go to my render settings and I'll make sure that I'm in mental ray and I'll unselect all this stuff, Global Illumination and Final Gathering. If we do a quick render right now in Mental Ray, and we'll just give that a sec, you'll see that there's some lighting in the room, okay? The sphere that we created is not really illuminated, but you can see the sunlight coming through the window. Now, as I explained in the previous video, what Global Illumination does is it, um, takes light off, for example, this floor and bounces it around in the room. So it hits the floor, bounces to the wall, bounces to the ceiling and so forth. So if we were to uh, activate that, we would see a lot more light in the room. Now, Final Gathering pretty much does the same thing and I'll show you. I'll just minimize this. Uh, actually, let's save this for comparison. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to our render settings and we're going to select final gathering and nothing else. Okay. And just do a quick render. And we'll give that a sec. And already you see a lot more light in your scene. Okay. We'll just give this a second to, uh, to complete. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if we compare these two, huge difference, right? So Final Gather does pretty much the same thing as uh, Global Illumination. Problem is, they do it in a different way. Okay. Now, just to recap, Global Illumination, right, takes light off a surface, for example, a sphere, and bounces that off on the wall, on the ceiling, and so forth, like in the real world. Okay. Uh, Final Gathering, as I mentioned, does the same, but they do it in different ways. Global Illumination uses photons, okay? Now, uh, imagine uh, little balls of light, if you will, that bounce on an object and bounce off and around. Now, what's typical for Global Illumination is, first of all, that it needs a light source. Okay, so I got the sunlight set up, and the photons from that light source are bouncing around. Final Gather does not need a light source. So even if you have like a surface shader with no light set up at all, if you use Final Gather, you will still have that effect, okay? Now, one of the things you need to keep in mind though is if that's the case and you are using indirect lighting, for example, with an HDRI file, you absolutely must use Final Gather because that will help you to take the, uh, the light information from that HDRI file to use that to bounce around in your scene, okay? Again, Global Illumination uses a light source. Final Gathering does not. Now, why would you use one or the other? Final Gathering does one bounce, if you will, okay? So the information is taken from the sphere, for example, and it bounces once. Um, Global Illumination keeps on bouncing around until all the energy is dispersed, okay? So the effect of that is that using Global Illumination will increase your render time a lot, right? So it will take a lot longer to, uh, to render out your scene. So, in a practical sense, let's say you're rendering for an animation and you've got thousands of files that you need to render. You would probably consider using uh, Final Gather instead of Global Illumination, okay? But if you are looking for a high-res one-image shot, you would probably go with Global Illumination. 
Okay, so they're significant different in speed. That's important to know. Um, okay, so but what if you use both? Now that is uh, doable, uh, specifically if you're not using an animation. And we'll just do that. I'll save this for a comparison. We'll go to our render settings, and we'll set up global illumination as well. All right. Now, there's a good chance you probably will not even see such a huge difference, but we'll give this a go. We'll just let that play out for a sec. All right, let's compare that to our previous file. And like I said, little to no difference. All right, but still, if you can, uh, uh, if you can afford taking the time to do the render, uh, I would advise on selecting them both, All right? Um, reason is that will give you a more uh, stable and better quality render. And in average, your global illumination uh, is more realistic anyway, right? But by using them both, you can also benefit from, for example, lighting information from HDRI files, okay? So just to, to recap this in a few steps. So global illumination and final gather are very, very similar, okay? However, global illumination is more realistic. It takes longer to render, Right? And you would preferably not use that when you're rendering for animation. Final Gather is much faster, right? But there's like a single bounce, and I explained that uh, before. All right. And then, uh, last but not least, if you can afford it, you can probably just use them both. Um, I, I can understand if you think this is a bit confusing, uh, but that's the only way I can explain it. So hopefully it's uh, it's clear to you guys. Uh, feel free to ask any questions if you have them. And uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.